Hello and welcome to Shark Jets, I'm Skid Viz. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put yourself in the game, or anyone else you want, as long as you have a green screen. And Unity, you can do what we're gonna do in this video, so if you're interested in that, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, so I know to keep making more of these. And without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Unity 2022 LTS. The only thing I've added to this is a plane so that we have a place to put stuff. I have imported a screenshot of the video so that I can pick the color for it. And I also imported a video with a green screen. And then I've also imported the shader graph. So I'll link to this in the description so you don't have to rebuild it. But it's pretty simple it just uh, you supply a color a range uh, and a few other things to determine which color to not show so you can import that and then the first thing you'll need to do is right click on it and select create material and it'll create a material based on that shader graph as you can see up here you want to make sure the surface type is set to transparent uh, and the blending mode is alpha, it should be, but you just wanna make sure of those two things. And then you can see the settings here. We have a texture to uh, apply the green screen to. We have a color that you wanna use in case your green screen isn't this exact green. We have a hue range, which is just for fine tuning the uh, section that gets cropped out. And the same thing with fuzziness, it's just a little fine tuning there on that. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to create a new object here on the field. I'm going to call it player. And then I'm going to add a video player component to that object. And then inside the player component, I'm also going to add a plane. Now it doesn't have to be a plane, it could literally be almost anything else, uh, but we're just gonna use that for now. So as you can see, this plane is really big. I'm going to resize it to the aspect ratio of the video. So my video is gonna be 16 by nine. So I'm gonna just set the X to 16 and the Z to nine. And as you can see, that's really big. So I'm gonna go back to the parent object and click this to lock all those uh, X, Y, Z together. And just gonna shrink that down into something a little more reasonable. So there's, uh, let's see, 0.5 should be good, 0.05. And then I'm gonna lift it up so that it's not uh, Z clipping there. All right, so then the plane, I'm gonna to need to apply the material for the green screen on the plane. So you see it's set to lit by default. So I'm just gonna drag that in there. And then uh, on the material itself, it's looking for a texture. So that's where I'm gonna drag in the screenshot that I took earlier so that we have something to look at. And as you can see, it already applied that uh, green screen to the screenshot. So if I go ahead and change this color to something else, you can see it kind of goes crazy and uh, doesn't green screen the right thing. So you can go ahead and click the little eyedropper and find the green or whatever color it is that you wanna mask out. Click on that and you can see it all goes away. So then you go into the shader graph and you can fine tune here by using the hue range um, as well as the fuzziness here to determine if it's going to work. You can also come in here and if you know the exact color of your green screen, which I do, which is exactly 255, um, that can help you fine tune that as well. And then you can just apply uh, some adjustments here to make that fit how you want. And then I'm gonna take a hit this player and rotate it so that we're not laying down. So I'll just put it 90 on the X and then just bring that up so you can see my feet. And there you go. And then you uh, got some changes to make here to the player. So uh, one, you wanna assign the video clip. So we'll go ahead and just drag the video clip to that. 
I like to set the update mode to DSP because if your computer lags, it's going to uh, not run as well. I think game time would be fine as well, but I like DSP personally. Uh, if you want the video to loop, you click the loop, but we're not gonna do that. And then the big thing you need to change is right here. It says render mode is a render texture. That's one way to do it. There's many ways to do it. Um, but in this case, we're gonna do a material override. And then it's going to ask you for the renderer and that's where we'll drop in the plane so that it uh, uses the renderer from the plane. And then it's set to auto select property. We wanna uncheck that and come in here and set this to the texture because if you remember, this material has a texture to apply the green screen to. So we set that to texture so that it overrides the texture of the video uh, or of the material with the video. And if we did everything right, I'm gonna go ahead and mute this. Of course, if you have audio, this is where you turn that on and off. I'm gonna mute that so you don't hear me talking. And then let's hit play and see what happens. And as you can see, the video is now rendering transparent. If you want it to be fancy, you can uh, apply a script to the player to make it always face the camera. That way it's uh, like you're playing Doom or something. Uh, but there you go. Pretty cool. And there you have it. Quick and easy as usual. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe so that I know that I should keep making videos. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments because uh, I want to know what you want me to make and I'll make more videos. Until next time, I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.